there is a heat wave going on. 34 degrees. Sure, it feels like it's even more. You're literally sweating from where you are sitting, even in the shadows. Tomorrow we are going to another beach. So today we will explore the city, trying out Greek traditions, etc. Our hotel Airbnb host, she said, if you want to have traditional Greek food, you are not going to find it in the city center because all things are altered for tourists. So it's very hard to find authentic traditional foods in here. But there are some couple of places that offer it, I think. So we are gonna do our best and try to find this and try it out and give my honest opinion. You know, I will always tell what I really think of the things I eat or see. So let's go. Yeah. Mizitra cheese. So this is um, toasted bread, mizitra, peach, eggs, and tea because I feel like the tea here tastes so delicious. This breakfast was in total 10 euros. I think 10.80 for the plate. And coffee was 350. Overall, I think this is a bit more based on tourist prices. But yeah, it is located in Old Town. It is located in a super cozy and nice street. So yeah, you're paying also for that overall. It's all, all super nice. But I'm really curious to know what the combination with peach is actually. It's a little bit hard to eat. The ingredients on its own, on their own, is are delicious. But as a combination, I don't feel like they go well together. The egg is delicious because it's salted and there are spices on it. But the taste of every ingredient in here is delicious, like super delicious, well seasoned, super tasty. Even the peach, I think they kind of fried it, or I'm not. It's very juicy. definitely tastes the same. I think we're gonna check out a store where we can buy this to bring back home. Something about the city that I really absolutely love is there are so many alleys so we are now walking towards the square and in order to get there we are just walking in between this local area i have to check where we need to go i think it's this way yeah and this is basically i don't think there are any hotels or anything um, located in this area or in these streets because it's really where locals live and it's so authentic it's so cozy and really stunning to see. We are now walking to Spla... Splancia Square. Uh, I've read that you can have some authentic Greek coffee here, so let's see if we can find it. Try that one on the, in the corner there. Seems like a good coffee place. And the streets are crazy. People are usually driving so aggressively, especially in the city center. So 
You have to be careful. It's sometimes hard to cross. Okay, so this is the first place. So just a disclaimer, I never drink coffee. I even don't like uh, regular coffee uh, whenever I take a sip. So let's try this one out. I'm really curious to see what it tastes like, if I do like this somehow. It is very strong, no? No. No? I thought it would be like the Turkish coffee where you have... Yes, like a Turkish. Okay. And do you also do the same thing in Turkey where you close it and then you can read your future, future with it? Wait, say again. When you drink Turkish coffee, you put it on its yes, back? Yes, and the, the creek. As well, the same, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely smells like Turkish coffee, so it's going to be super strong. It's still a bit hot, so I'm gonna wait. Ooh. Oh, you put a lot of sugar in it, right? Or is it, a, is it sweet? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Do you like it or no? No, it, it's a... If it wasn't sweet, I wouldn't drink it probably. But is this the same sugar as you put in? Or do you put in less or more? If I drink this uh, coffee, I, I drink it without sugar. Without sugar, ah, okay. All the co coffees so I drink. Without, without sugar, sugar, okay. I'm surprised, it's actually really nice. It's super nice, but I think it is because of the sugar, because it makes it super sweet. I know I drank Turkish coffee when I was younger once to try it out and was because you can read your future with it. So I didn't like it back then, but this is really nice. And we also got a cookie with it. You also always get cold water with it. I think to wash it off, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's nice to have it. It's a very good for a hot chai in the winter. Hot chai? Hot chai. Hot tea. Yes, it's uh, very good. Ah. And uh, it's Basilica. the same of this. I'm sorry. This is the uh, original. The price of this is uh, 15. 15. The price of this is uh, 5. Wow, oh. I'll take this. This is very, very good. This is not. Yeah, you probably won't taste it. Oh yeah, mm, can't really smell it because it's it's cheaper or the quality is less than the other one. Honestly, I don't like coffee, but this one is really nice, so it is a pass. So we are now on one of the biggest. I think this is the biggest local market they have happening on a Saturday, where you can find a lot of local food, organic food, as you can see, things they make themselves, cheese. Wow, we can even eat here. It's being made souffle. So this market is like a local market where you can buy anything. Um, everything is produced here. I think they also really promote organic food, organic healthy food and a lot of fruits are so tasty here and <laughs> I don't think I can get enough of what these streets look like it's <laughs> so extremely cute uh, so beautiful uh, kept authentic I don't think it's ever been renewed so it's just in the state of how it was in the past um, but they have so many flowers everywhere, always. Just look at the streets. It goes all so well together. But also such a cool thing about Old Town is like the wall behind, the wall around it, it's still... Oh my God, look at this. Let's just 
go and check out what this is. Wow, it's so narrow. <laughs> They really try to keep the the building as it is. As you can see, they just kept the stones from the past. So you can see the details, but they still try to make it a bit more nicer. But the colors go so well together, always. and it's a sweet or savory pastry that they have. It's made with phyllo dough um, and it's wrapped around like a sugary custard and it's filled with cheese. But I read that you can eat it for breakfast as well. It's a famous one because we got recommended this place by so many people already and I do see that Golden Rams was here as well. And you can create your own as you like it. So the one that we have is the traditional one, but if you want you can top it on with some additional stuff. But wow, this is so delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I feel like... I did not think that I would like this this much. Mm. Wow. Thank you. 